recording now. No, the scale, Dad. Oh, well, damn, I thought you were telling me to turn the camera. I mean, no. what, are we, what are we doing here? Son of, this ain't working. You got me, you keep doing this to me all day, having me hold something. I can't see, I can't see nothing. I well, can't, I, feel. This, look, this ain't gonna work. Let's do it normal. Reach all the way to the right. Son, that's the button I always use. Turn all the way to the right. You turn it off all the damn time. All the way to I the right. I use that button right the out. there. You just turned it off. How yeah. hard is it to weigh something? You're with stupid you? as man. I mean, you're a dumb. I never realized it. Well, actually, it's not 29 true. pounds. Today we got an awesome video for you, uh, something that a lot of subscribers and our viewers have been asking us to do for quite some time now, ever since we started doing our upgrades. And one of those upgrades, as you've seen in the description, but they are the Zoom brakes, hydraulic brakes. Yeah, they for... saw that when we opened mail last time. Yeah, you guys saw this when we did the uh, our ongoing TAF build, our TAF Tuesdays that we're doing, Project Humpty Dumpty. We do usually the mail and uh, anything that any of subscribers or any viewers have sent us. But we do have some more we're gonna get into, and uh, we're also going to do a little install video on these Zoom brakes. We can we hurry up and get to the mail so we can get to the, because we got that brake video is gonna take them. Yeah, you know, let me see your knife. <laughs> I gotta save that blade for later. <laughs> a stem. Okay, wake stem. Now, we got this wake stem. This is probably like a $10 one. Oh. We find them pretty cheap, and they're the best bicycle. That's what they say. Uh, a lot of people don't really you, dig the wake stem. Is it the best bicycle? Well, that's what it says on there, best bicycle. <laughs> A lot of people don't dig the wake stems. We like them, and they're always good to have a good aluminum light stem on hand. I know some people are concerned with them failing. Haven't had one fail yet. But this isn't actually mail. I went and picked this up myself. Yeah, you me. picked this up. Now, this is a front 27.5 inch rim for my GT. It's down right now, and hopefully I will get to ride it soon. Has uh, been down for a while. Has been down for quite some time. So that's why we haven't had too many GT videos coming out. And the reason why is because I bent the crap on my front rim. As you guys can see in the uh, real-time review on the TAF video, so hard to find one of these on eBay or Amazon for cheap and uh, I couldn't believe it I called a bike shop in Hot Springs and they told me they could have it here the next day for 65 bucks next oh cool these came in uh, a lot of the times on our builds our budget builds you guys have seen a lot of them are 15 millimeter nuts and I hate that on our wheel sets uh, with those budget builds, uh, the Fragment, the Genesis, they're 15, they're 15 millimeter nuts. And these are axles that are 9 millimeter uh, quick release. These are supposed to be uh, basically transform your bike from a regular threaded axle uh, to a quick release? Uh, quick release axle. I don't know who this is or whatever, but it's shipped to Wolf Tick Videos, so it's not something we ordered. It could be a subscriber. Oh, I think I might know it might be. Uh, nine. Oh, I see some Chinese writing. Oh, I know what this is. You're right. Well, well, well. We got a awesome surprise here. LT Wu group set. There's the shifter. Now, this is from our boy S. Lin. Been in the works for a very long time, and this is so awesome. Uh, our subscriber S. Lin said, hey, man, Love the videos. We sent you, or I sent you a group set. And he's from like Singapore or something like that. So I sent you a group Is set. Is he from there or just living there? I don't know. He says, I'm going to send you a group set, uh, an LT Wu, which was funny because we were looking at We were at, looking at him. And I was like, that would be awesome, man. He's like, I'll be there sometime in October. It's coming from China or something. Don't, so don't that's just great him. that it come out, that it came in today. You know, this is a 10 speed derailleur, a shifter a cassette, a hanger for the derailleur, and a chain. So guys, on the next half video, we're gonna be putting in an LT Wu, excuse me, an LT Wu group set, which is pretty damn cool. Are you okay? Cool. You need me to pat your back? I'm getting worked up. I'm getting a little Get emotional. emotional. Yeah. <laughs> Eslin, thank you so much from Wolf Tick Videos. We'll finally get to know how that group set is. So we've been wondering. Yeah, 53 bucks for a 10 speed. We don't group know. Set. You keep saying 53. I think it's 50. 
I don't know. 50, I think it was fifty ninety nine. Yeah. I definitely know what this is. Let's open this up. Now this today, we'll probably put on the bike as well. Stephen Thomas, I'm going to give you a shout today. This is a, a boost adapter for the Project Humpty Dumpty for our TAF. We'll throw this on there today too. I'm excited this came in. If you guys remember when we did the RockShock RL uh, Recon forks on it, the front wheel, basically the front wheel set that we've got is non-boost. So it's 100 millimeter and the fork that we got is a boost fork and it was 110 millimeters and the problem there you guys can see my wheel was all wonky and i was like what do we do a you while a case back of the wonky britches? i had a case of the wonky britches a while back stephen thomas uh sent me a whole like everything he wanted on the taff and in that email that he sent there was a link for this and this was like 12.99 very cheap it comes with a rotor adapter some screws that have loctite some spacers for the axle so this right here will get me going hopefully will get us going so glad that came in 12.99 man yeah that's cheap mm -hmm. i'm hoping it works cross my fingers we got one more piece of mail for you oh yeah before you open it, why don't you explain the other situation now? Well, I'm going to do it while I, because I can multitask. <laughs> the last mail review, and of course what we're going to be working on today, are the zoom brakes, right? So, after we had got done filming, uh, we got to take a closer look at the rear brake on the zoom brakes. You off me. There's an issue there. It's got oil. That's oil. how people in Arkansas say oil. Yeah, that's how they it's say it It's got in oil, oil on it. And every time you go to squeeze the brake lever, there's oil all over the uh, back side of the piston. And the buyers that we bought them from, they hooked us up and sent us another pair, rear 1350 millimeters. They hooked it up, they just, they honored their crap. Yeah, they honored their crap very fast. I uh, told them we were gonna be shooting a video and they came they in the mail the quick. same week. Yeah, so I was happy with that. So without further ado guys, let's go and get onto the Zoom brakes. Hydraulic, $43 is what we found them for. Again, all the stuff that was in the mail right now, you guys can definitely go to the links below in the description. There are affiliate links, and you guys can help us out by buying some of the stuff if you're interested. And if you guys want to get talked about and you want to see us open up some mail, send it to us. Yeah, send us some mail. Yeah, send us some mail. I think we, I think I put our PO box in the uh, about the description about our channel now. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So anyone can go check it out now if you want. You don't have to ask for it. It should be in our about. And I love getting mail. We love getting mail. Yeah. This is one of the, I think, everybody's like favorite segments. But anyway, let's go and get to the Zoom breaks. Let's talk about them a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because there's a lot to do on those. A lot to and do. Grandma's and grandma's waiting to go to town. And then we're going to add that little uh, boost adapter. Grandma's busy. These Zoom breaks were $43. And the problem with the breaks, the reason we have to resize it, is the cable's not long enough. Uh, for one and number two on both the front and rear brakes they are backwards so basically the rear lever as you can see here is mounted for the left side of your handlebar and the front brake is mounted for your right side so we're going to switch that up Let me tell you something. We just got done going through a whole process. There's oil all over the floor. I'll show you some B-roll. Trying to cut these brakes and uh, switch them over. Now, we have the right, which is the rear. It was the front. Bled it, used the Shimano brake oil. And now we have the front. You got the front nice and tight now. We're all good to go in that department. Uh, so if you are looking at just changing your levers over, it wasn't a big deal at all. The only hard thing was pulling out the cable from the caliper and the lever. That got pretty hard now let's go ahead and we're going to put the wheel adapter the boost adapter the oh, axle adapter the all right we got the spacers well he's got one i got one show it show the camera look at the damn spacer <laughs> well i i can't really put mine in over here without the damn axle but listen hang on now hang on now you should have just put the damn brake caliper on first put the Quick put the upset. brake caliper on there. Don't take this back off to put the brake caliper on now. What are you talking about with the brake caliper? You have to put the caliper on there with the disc and all that <laughs> on there. You're tripping. Let's make sure this is this is straight up. Now tell me. Do you really want to love <laughs> me forever? Now, the test. Oh, she's tight. Would you stop grabbing <laughs> spokes? You wouldn't know anything about that. Spokes? All right, guys, time to install the zoom brakes. Okay, so uh, fixing to mount the rear um, 
zoom brake caliper now and i'm wondering i mean i don't i don't think i'm gonna need these these are some adapters that it came with this was for the rear and this here was for the front and then it did come with some uh screws to mount um i think this is like for maybe like a side post mount a little funkier design i don't think they're for 180 i mean they might be for 180 millimeter but i don't know we got the 160s on here and until we can uh maybe be done with this build and afford to get some more uh if i need more brakes maybe as much downhill and stuff i plan on doing maybe if we can afford to get some bigger discs then we'll actually see if those are for uh if those are for 180. all right so let's talk about this just for a second here's the front caliper a lot of the times i run my brakes here and then i run it through the top and everybody freaks out because they swear that this is gonna get hit and it's gonna take out my brakes and i'm gonna crash constantly they say that just for this build i'm going to route it the right way all right so the adapter ended up working flawlessly very happy with the adapter i think i sized the brake hoses out perfectly you know i don't like a lot of excess up there and when i do fall and i do crash it shouldn't get bound up even if it spins all the way around on itself but it feels pretty good, man. I'm liking the levers a lot on these brakes. And again, when we get done doing this task build, we're going to do a real-time review, and then we'll probably do updates constantly because you guys have seen this bike being built from the ground up. Well, we're going to do like we do with the GT every now and then. We're going to sit and have a upgrade update. Yeah, it'll definitely be an upgrade update. And please, um, if you would, uh, subscribe, comment, like, and share. Yeah. We never say share. We never say share. Hopefully the Wolf Dick Nation starts sharing some videos of ours. Represent. Like you guys have in the past. Representing a little bit. Share. You know? Uh, that would be nice. But we appreciate you guys watching Wolf Dick videos and the Humpty Dumpty project. And uh, hopefully you guys are liking our kids' bike and our all of our other Humpty projects. Dumpty. Yeah. Uh, this Friday, be on the lookout for a GT video. Maybe a new tire video. You know, in the mail today we did get the front wear, uh, rim. So we might Actually, have a, it was in the dad going and picking it up. Yeah, dad, yeah, I, yeah. Dad had to go pick it up um, route. Yeah. But uh, we might have a GT video Friday, maybe with those tires up there. If you can see them, they are uh, Duro tires, uh, 27.5s. Maybe something on those. Maybe something on some Maxxis tires that old uh, homeboy from Canada hooked us up with. Canada. But uh, appreciate hey. it, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to riding this bike. We're almost there on the Humpty Dumpty build.